Hello, how to solve this exponential radical problem? This is 3 to the power of root t, and this equals 27 to the power of t. We are solving for all values of t that will satisfy this equation. That means that we'll make the left-hand side of this equation to be the same as the right-hand side. So that is, those are the values that we are looking for. So right now, let's have our equation, which is 3 to the power of square root of t. And this equals 27 to the power of t. Now remember, 27 equals 3 times 3 times 3. And that means 27 is 3 to the power of 3. So what we are going to have here is 3 to the power of square root of t equals 27 is 3 power 3. So we have... 3 power 3, and this is raised to the power of t. Now, if you have a power n, and this is raised to the power of n, equals a power n times n. So we apply this right here, and here, we don't even need it here, just here alone. So what we are going to have will be 3 power square root of t equals 3 power 3 times t, that is 3t. Now, if you have a power b, and this equals a power c, when the bases are the same, you compare the exponent, that means you have b equals c, so that means this square root of t will equal 3t. So you have square root of t equals 3t. Now from here, you can decide to take the squares of both part of this equation. That is how you can actually solve this in order to eliminate the square root. So this will definitely cancel this. You have t, and this equals, for this, if you have something like a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So, you apply this right here. That means you are going to have 3 power 2 times c power 2. So, from here, we have t equals 3 power 2 is 9 times t power 2. So this will give you t equals 9 times t power 2, that is 9t squared. So at this particular point, what you are going to do again is to solve this and find the values of t. Since we are having power 2 here, that means we are going to have values for t. So we can easily solve this using two different methods. The first method will be to divide each part of this equation by t. So I divide this by t and I divide this by t. t cancels t. t divided by t is 1. I have 1 and this equals this is 9t squared divided by t. Now if you have a power n divided by a power n, this equals a power n minus n. So applying this right here, that means I'm simply going to have 1 equals 9 times t squared minus 1. Remember, this is to the power of 1. So the pieces are the same, you subtract the exponents. Just like what happens here. So you are going to have 1 equals 9t, 2 minus 1, that is 1. And t power 1 is the same thing as t. So you have 1 equals 9t. So solving for t, you can easily divide each part of this equation by 9. I have this divided by 9. I have this divided by 9. 9 cancels 9. So I have t equals 1 over 9. So this is correct.
but this also gives us only one solution. Now, if you observe, it's supposed to have two different solutions here because this is raised to the power of two. So let's solve it using this other method. So the question still is we have t equals 9t squared. Remember this one we divided by t. So what we can do is I can decide to move this over here because I want to factorize. I have 9t squared. This becomes minus t and this equals 0. So I move this over here. It becomes negative t and everything is equated to 0. So the next step will be to factor out t. There's t here, there's t here, so I can factor out t. 9t squared divided by t, this is 9t minus t divided by t, I have 1. And this equals 0. So right here, I have t equals 0. I equate each of these to 0. And also, I have 90 minus 1 equals 0. So if t equals 0, that means we have solved this one already. This one is solved. No need to solve it. Now, if 90 minus 1 equals 0, we can easily solve for t by moving this negative 1 over here. This is 90 equals positive 1. And to solve for t, I divide this by 9. and divide this by 9. 9 eliminates 9 of t equals 1 over 9. So by using this factorization method, I have two values, which are 0 and 1 over 9. But by just dividing, I have only 1 over 9. So what we are going to do next will be to check using these two values, 0 and 1 over 9. So we have check, we have t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 9. So Let's record a problem which is 3 power square root of t equals 27 power t. Now let's start with t equals 0. So you have t equals 0. That means we're simply going to have 3 power square root of 0 equals 27 power 0. So from here, I have 3 power square root of 0 is 0. And this equals 27 power 0. So from here, any number raised to the power of 0, exception of 0 is uh, this one. So this is 1, and this equals, this also is 1. The only exception to this rule is when you have 0 power 0, which is not 1. Every other number raised to the power of 0 of our alphabet raised to the power of 0 is 1. So that is correct. Now let's also consider when t equals 1 over 9. So we are going to have the problem again. 3 power square root of t equals 27 power t, and t is 1 over 9. So I'm going to have 3 power square root of 1 over 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. Now, if you have square root of a over b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So by applying this identity right here, so what I'm going to have is simply 3 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9, and this equals 27 power 1 over 9. So right now, square root of 1 is 1, and square root of 9 is 3. So what I'm going to have is 3. 3 power of square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. And this equals 27 to the power of 1 over 9. And from here, I have 3 power 1 over 3 equals, remember, 27 equals 3 to the power of 3. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of 3. And this raised to the power of 1 over 9. So from here, I have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 3 times 1. This is 3 divided by 9. 
So from here, three council is of one, so council nine, we have three. So we have three power one over three equals three power one over three. Now we can leave it this way. Or if you have a power one over n, this equals the n root of a power one. So what we are going to do is to apply that identity here. We have the cube root of three power one, and this equals the cube root of three power one. And remember three power one is three. So this will definitely give us the cube root of three, which is the same thing as three power one. And this equals the cube root of three. This equals this. The left hand side equals right hand side. In both cases, that means the answers that we have gotten are absolutely correct. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.